trumpets are telling the glory of God And all creation is shouting for joy Come dance in the forest, come play in the field And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord Praise for the sun The Lord in His rays, the moon and the stars light up the way unto your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing. storms, the gentlest breeze, they blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the love of Jesus Christ our brother, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now prepare our hearts to celebrate this Eucharist together. Confident of God's mercy and love, we, can, we acknowledge our faults. You call all people to live in peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to us today in word and in sacrament to nourish us with hope and joy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You send the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Together with the angels, let us praise God as we sing. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace 
on earth Peace to people of goodwill For you alone are the Holy One You alone are the Lord You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ With the Holy Spirit In the glory of God the Father Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen, amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elijah came to Shunem, when there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elijah is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes, he can stay here with us. Sometime later, Elijah arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elijah asked, can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elijah said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elijah promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. are 
of their strength and by your favor our horn is exalted for to the Lord belongs our shield and the Holy One of Israel our King reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A few days ago, I celebrated my birthday. And in just a few more days, we will celebrate America's birthday on the 4th of July. One has crowds gathering for fireworks to light the night sky. The other had family and friends gathering around a cake with 76 candles lighting the night sky and setting off the smoke detectors. Today's gospel connects these two birthdays 
by asking a question that is fundamental to every person. How do you imagine the world? That's really what a birthday wish is saying. What do you wish for? This is not a simple question because we need to understand that this shapes how we live our daily lives. And while there are many levels to answer that question about how you envision the world, two fundamental elements are primary, people and relationships. On the 4th of July, we can recall the vision of the new world that was written in the Declaration of Independence in 1776, that all are created equal and are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, where the role of government is to protect this common good. And today's gospel gives us a vision of the spiritual world, where we are called to see beyond the physical presence of father or mother, son or daughter, to see the spiritual presence of God within them. But not only the family, because Jesus goes on to say, whoever receives you, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Jesus is calling us to center our lives and how we imagine the world in God. God, who is first of all, love. When we are rooted in that love, we can act with gentle strength and great humility that will empower us to choose what is more loving in each and every circumstance that we find ourselves. That's not easy, but it is possible. Jesus asks us to love as God loves. Jesus modeled that love of compassion and mercy, even when he faced hatred and violence. That is why Jesus taught that in order to see the world as spiritual, we need to realize that the spiritual life has two important parts, a time to be apart and a time to impart. The time to be apart is our life of prayer and quiet communion of God. This is the time every day that we spend apart with God. This connects us to God so that our mind can be set in the right direction so that our thoughts will be respectful, sensitive, and affirming throughout the day. The second part, the time to impart, is when we impart to others what we have learned in our time of meditation. This is when we share with others what Jesus taught and give them what he asks us when he sends us to them. Each one of us has something people want and need. It might be the voice of the prophet that Jesus talks about in the gospel today, voicing concern over climate change, racism, gun safety, or just plain civility in a stressed out society. Or it might be something as simple as the compassionate hand that offers a cup of cold water in today's gospel, which for us might mean visiting those in need and helping them, mourning with those who mourn, rejoicing with those who rejoice, or something as simple as bringing a smile to the face of someone who's going through some struggles. Today's gospel and the Declaration of Independence invite us to celebrate our vision of the world as responsible Christians and loyal citizens, where every person enjoys the blessing of life, liberty, 
and the pursuit of happiness. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in and Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With confidence now, let us pray for our needs, the needs of the church, and the needs of the whole world. For the church, that we may enter more fully into the tasks God asks of us and become witnesses of charity <clears throat> to all those in need. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of our nation, that as we celebrate Independence Day, they will take time to focus on the dreams and visions of 1776 and work for a common good that respects life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the community, that those people who have nowhere to lay down their head may find support from the government and other social providers in finding appropriate housing. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this community of faith, that in seeking to follow Jesus wherever the Spirit leads, we may follow his teachings about love, peace, joy, and hope. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, and for continued healing for all those who have received prayer shawls from our parish. For them we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have passed into new life this week, and for all those dearly departed who dwell in the peace of the eternal Lord, for them we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our personal needs and the intentions written in the parish book of prayers, which we now offer in the silence of our heart. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, the light of Jesus has scattered the darkness of hatred and sin. Call to that light, we ask for your guidance. Form our lives in your truth, our hearts in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
in true communion let us gather may all division cease and in their place be Christ the Lord our risen Prince of Peace Ubi caritas est vera est vera Es vera, es vera, Deus ibi est, Deus ibi est. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, who are holy indeed, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more giving thanks, gave the cup to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and the everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and this cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church and all your holy people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our mother, and Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Join together now and pray with confidence for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus our brother has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. And let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Though not physically present at this Mass, as the baptized, we are intimately united as the body of Christ, as we participate in this spiritual Holy Communion. name. 
Let us pray. O oh Lord, may this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And after our final hymn, we'll be back with some brief announcements. Let us go now in peace and glorify God by how we live our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Well, there's not a lot to say today, except that with the 4th of July coming on Tuesday, the parish office is going to be closed both on Tuesday and on Monday. So Monday the 3rd and Tuesday the 4th is a holiday for all of our staff. So keep them in your prayers, and we'll keep you in our prayers. And let's pray for our country, especially sometimes during these difficult times, that we live up to the values and the vision of those who founded this great nation. So God bless you, stay well, stay safe, and God bless America. May go up the mountain of the Lord who can stand in his holy place the clean of hand and pure of heart who devoted their lives to him